Hey guys, welcome to another episode of uh, MrLopezClasses.com. This is the chapter 3, episode 2, related with diesel engines. We are going to start to talk about diesel engines. Uh, the concept of the diesel engine, what is the difference with gasoline, and what happened internally in, in a diesel engine. What is, for what reason, the name diesel? All right. But before of that, I want to explain to you what is the function of an engine. What is an engine? Uh, I want here from yours different definitions of a, an engine. I think a good definition of an engine is an equipment, an equipment designed, of course, to produce output torque, and is an equipment designed to burn air. The majority of the people, they say, no, that motor burn fuel. No, 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 no. The engine burn air. Oh, Mr. Lopez, but my engine is gasoline. Yes, that engine used the gasoline to burn air. Oh, that engine is propane. That engine used the propane to burn air. The diesel engine used the diesel to burn air. Those are the fuels in order to burn air. What engine is more efficient? The engine that burn, burn more air with less fuel. What engine is more efficient? The engine that burn more air with less amount of fuel. The diesel engines are the more efficient. Because in a diesel engine, you can introduce mm, the maximum amount of air with the turbos or superchargers and with a small amount of fuel burn more air and produce more torque. That's the reason. Ah, okay, okay. The, the engine is an equipment designed to burn air, no fuel, air. The fuel is used to ignite the explosion, to produce the explosion. All right, let me check the difference in between gas and diesel. Right now, later in this episode, we are going to talk about the strokes. Oh, my engine is two strokes. Oh, my engine is four strokes. And I am going to explain the difference between two strokes and four strokes. Yeah, and uh, we are going to check a, a two stroke gasoline and four stroke gasoline and two stroke diesel and four stroke diesel. Both of them, we are going to talk about both of those engines at the same time. All right, my friends? Okay, let me explain something about that. In general terms, later, in a couple of minutes, we are going to talk about the stroke, but right now, only for, for, for to understand the main difference in between the gas engine and the diesel engine. Let me explain something. In, in, a, in a gas engine, in a gasoline engine, when the piston is in the maximum point of compression of or top dead center, we are going to talk later, when the piston is in the maximum point of compression with the valves closed, the gasoline engine compresses the mixture, the mixture air and, and fuel, air and gasoline. And when the, the air and the gasoline is, com is fully compressed, in that moment, the spark plug produces a small spark, and the spark ignites the fuel and sends the piston down and start the cycle. This is in gas. Once again, the piston goes down, the, the intake valve is open and enter air and, and fuel. Air and gasoline, in gasoline. Air and fuel. And after that, the piston goes up, the valves close, and the piston compress, 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 compress the mixture. When the mixture is fully compressed, the spark plug, the spark plug ignite the mixture and produce the explosion and the piston boom, goes down at higher speed and continue the cycle. Ba, 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 ba. This is in gasoline. That's clear, my friends? All right. In diesel, 
When the piston is going down, 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 with the intake valve open, only suction air, pure air, and suction air, 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 and close the valves. When the valves are closed, the piston goes up. And compress, pure air, 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 air. When the air is full compressed, pure air, the injector open, no spark plug. The injector open and inject, spray, atomize a little amount of fuel. And that is small of fuel because the air is at high temperature and high pressure. The temperature is around 1,075 degrees Fahrenheit and the pressure is superior than 600 PSI. At that excessive amount of pressure and temperature, when the fuel entered atomized, produce the explosion and the piston goes down. Boom! This is only possible with, with this sole. Ah, if you have air full compressed and you introduce gasoline, the gasoline ignite. If you have air full compressed at, at that temperature and that pressure and you introduce propane, the propane explodes? No. If you, no, only diesel. Only diesel have that property. Oh, what happened? No, in the other one, the propane, the alcohol, the gasoline ignite because the spark produce the spark and produce the, the ignite the, the, the mixture because the spark. In this one, we don't have a spark. Only because the air is full compressed when, when the fuel enter atomized in that area, full compressed, the fuel ignite and produce a big explosion and the piston goes down. The explosion here in the diesel engines is 10, 20, 100 times the, the explosion on, on, in any other type of engine, gas, alcohol, propane. For that reason, when the piston goes down in a diesel engine, produce a torque three times, four times the torque produces for the gasoline. And of course, more horsepower and more and more and more efficient. Yes. Once again, if you compress pure air, you can reach temperatures around 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit or more. If you compress air mixed with other fuel, you reach temp temperatures around 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. When you compress pure air, you, you have a, those temperatures and pressures, pressures superior to 400, 600, 1000 or more PSI. In a, in a gasoline engine, when you compress air with, with gasoline or other fuel, the pressure is around 200 psi. Of course, the power of the detonation in this engine is superior than the power of detonation in the other engine. That's the main difference. All right? Clear. What is the main difference in between a gas engine and a diesel engine? The majority of the people respond, oh, because the gas engine ignite gasoline and the... No, uh, uh, burn gasoline and the diesel engine burn uh, diesel. No, no. Both engines burn air. Oh, the diesel engine to burn the air use diesel. The gasoline engine to burn the air use gasoline. Okay, no, it's that, this is not the difference. The difference is in a diesel engine, in a diesel engine to burn the air, the detonation is produced only because the air at high pressure and temperature, when the fuel enter, is ignite and, and produce that explosion. In other words, in the ignition of the diesel engine, you only need air full compressed. In the ignition of a gasoline engine, you need the mixture compressed and you need a spark. In this engine, you don't need a spark. Yes. In a diesel engine, you don't have spark plugs. Yes, in a diesel engine, you don't have cables for spark plugs. You don't have distributor. You don't have ignition coil. You don't have that complicated 
electrical electronic system, the ignition system. In a diesel engine, you only need that one injector open and spray fuel. That's it. For that reason, the diagnosis of a diesel engine is too simple. For that reason, the troubleshooting in diesel engines is too simple in comparison with gasoline. That's clear, my friends. That's the main difference between a diesel engine and a gasoline engine. Later, in the chapter dedicated to the fuel systems, we are going to talk about the efficiency. And I am going to explain why, why the people say too much blah, blah, blah in relation with the diesel engines. Oh, the pollution in the world is basically because the diesel engines. It's not because the diesel engines, it's because the quality of the fuel, because the quality of the diesel produced in different countries. In the majority of the countries, the quality of the diesel is bad quality. I'm going to explain later in other chapter, the chapter dedicated to fuel systems. Okay, my friends, until this point, it's clear the main difference between gas diesel and uh, gas engines and diesel engines. Okay, great. All right, we are going to check what is the, the theory related with this. A diesel engine is an internal combustion engine, of course, that use the heat of compression to, to start the ignition to burn the fuel, which is injected into the combustion chamber during the final stage of the compression. Yeah, it's, it's a good definition. But in the diesel engine, you need the air full compressor. In this moment, in this in this combustion chamber, when the piston is rich is finishing the compression stroke, you have pure air. Immediately, the piston finishes the travel, uh, the injector spray the fuel, and the ignition is produced. You don't need a spark plug. Oh, Mr. Lopez, what about the glove plugs? Oh, the glove plugs is a, is an element to preheat to preheat that area. This is commonly used in older engines and is commonly used in, a, in a cold uh, areas at, at low temperatures in order to preheat the head and preheat that area in the combustion chamber. We are going to talk later. The glove plug, this element, the glove plug is not a spark plug. <clears throat> no, no, no. The glove plug no produces spark. The, the glove plug only produces a high temperature and preheat that area. For that reason, the other name for the glove plug is preheater. 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 That's the other name. All right, but we are going to talk later about that. And, and this picture is excellent because it's a great comparison in between the gas engine. In the gas engine, you have this element, the spark plug. Uh, in a, in a, the rest of the engine is pretty similar. You have an intake valve. You have a exhaust valves, in the end you have intake valves, exhaust valves, but in, in this one you have a spark plug, in the second one you have the injector, the injector. Ah, Mr. Lopez, but in the gasoline I have inject, yes. The new engines, they have a spark plug and injector. If you check the head in a top view, you have intake valve, you have exhaust valve, you have one hole for the spark plug, one hole for the spark plug, and you have another hole here for the injector. But uh, in a diesel engine, if you check the, the head on a top view, you have both valves and you have one hole for the injector. That's it, you don't have a spark plug. This is the diesel head, and this is the gas head. All right? All right, my friends, that's the main difference between gas and diesel. And we are going to study in, 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 in diesel engines different systems. We are going to study the fuel system, the intake system, the exhaust system, the lubrication system, the cooling system, the ignition system. And we are going to study in details, chapter by chapter, those systems, the different type of fuel, the different type of cooling system. Uh, I am going to pass quickly those slides because I am going to explain in details uh, each of those systems. All right, my friends. And now we are going 
to talk about the efficiency that I explained to yours, that the diesel engine is superior in efficiency in comparison with the other com internal combustion engines like uh, propane engines, alcohol engines, uh, methanol engines, gasoline engines. The diesel engines is, is, is superior in comparison in terms of efficiency. Diesel engines have the highest thermal efficiency of any internal or external combustion engines because of their compression ratio. Low speed diesel engines, the thermal efficiency is superior to 50%. It's superior, superior. It's more than 70, more than 80. It's high, high efficient, high efficient engines. All right, diesel engines are manufactured in two strokes and four strokes. There are two versions of a two strokes and four strokes. Okay, in order to understand easily that situation, I am going to explain what is the difference between two strokes and four strokes. And right now, I am going to start with the explanation of four strokes. Okay, guys, in order to understand the four strokes, I prepared this slide. This slide is, uh, this is the block. This is the block. This is the head. Uh, the piston, the piston is moving up and down, up and down. And uh, the crankshaft is rotating, is rotating. In this particular example, we are going to suppose that it's rotating uh, clockwise. All right. And uh, those are the intake valves, intake valves, and those are the exhaust valves. And I prepared this table. In the, in the table, I put the typical four structs that you hear, intake, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Those are the typical four strokes. And we are going to understand what is the meaning of that. What is the meaning of intake, compression, power, and exhaust? All right. I need that you follow me. And at the same time, follow the table that we are going to, to fill uh, in order to understand what is the meaning of four strokes. And after that, with the same concept, I am going to explain what is the meaning of two strokes for gas and diesel. All right. All right, my friends. Suppose that this is the head. This is the head. My hand is the head. And this is the piston. And in the head, I have two valves. I have intake valves and exhaust valves here. Intake valves and exhaust valves. Those valves that you have here on the screen, intake and exhaust. And this is the piston. All right, suppose that I am going to start with the intake, intake. When the piston is going down. Okay, let me check. In the intake, the piston is going down. Ready? Perfect. The piston is going down. Now, when the piston is going down, I want to enter air in, in, in the diesel engine or air and fuel in the gas engine. Ready? Okay. In that case, when the when during the intake struck, the piston is going down. And what valve is open? Intake valve or exhaust valve? Intake valve is open and exhaust is closed. Ah, okay. During the intake, the intake valve is open and the exhaust valve is closed. Perfect. And the piston is going down. And the crankshaft in this movement, the crankshaft rotate half, half turn. Ah, the crankshaft rotate 180 degrees, half turn. All right, perfect. And now the piston is in the bottom. And the piston start to go up to produce compression. What happened with the valves in order to compress? Should be, should be, both of them, close. Ah, okay. Close and close in compression. The piston is going up. The piston is going up. And the crankshaft rotate other 180 degrees. Other 180 up. Right now, the piston is at the end, on top that center, when both valves are closed. And the piston on top. Ready? And now, now the fuel enter in diesel engines and produce the explosion, or the spark plug produce the spark and ignite the mixture. Okay, in this moment, the power is produced, the explosion is produced, and the piston goes 
down. What happened with the valves? The valves open or close? The, the valves continue closed, but the explosion is produced. Ah, okay, in power, the piston goes down again. <coughs> the explosion sends the piston bah, down. Uh, other half rotation of the crankshaft. Other half rotation of the crankshaft. And the piston, uh, the valves close and close. And now the piston is in the bottom again. And, and all of this cylinder full of a smoke. And right now the piston try to go up again. And what happened with the valves? Intake and exhaust. Intake stay closed and exhaust open. And the smoke goes out. This is a exhaust. All right, the piston is going up. The crankshaft rotate other 180 and the valves intake close and exhaust open. Bingo. Those are the four strokes. Those are the four strokes. Intake with both one valve open, intake valve. And right now, compression, both valve closed. Piston goes up. And now explosion, piston goes down with the valve closed. <coughs> Smoke. And now exhaust valve open and the piston goes up. Exhaust. Oh, nice. During that process, intake, compression, power, and exhaust, how many time, how many revolutions complete the crankshaft? Half, 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 and half. Two revolutions of the crankshaft. Oh, nice. In order to produce the four strokes, the crankshaft rotates two times. Two revolutions. This is the four stroke engine, my friends. Now you understand what is the meaning of four strokes. And what is the relation in between the piston, the valves, the movement of the piston, the movement of the valves for four strokes or two strokes? You like it? This is the process. This is the process uh, to produce four strokes. And now I am going to explain the same procedure for, for two strokes, uh, gasoline and diesel. But uh, before of that, let me I review quickly uh, the theory that I have uh, in the book. Diesel engines are manufactured in two strokes and four strokes. Yes, uh, in this particular example, let, let me I, I, I refresh intake. Uh, intake, the intake valve is open. You see the smoke enter, uh, excuse me, the air enter in the combustion chamber. Uh, the exhaust valve is closed. Uh, the, the, the crankshaft is rotating half. And uh, the piston is going down, it's going down. Ah, okay, in compression, the piston is going up, both valves are closed. Uh, the valves continue closed and the piston is going down in, a, a, in combustion or power. And after that, in exhaust, the piston is going up, the exhaust valve open. Ah, this is a perfect, perfect, perfect picture about the four strokes. And uh, this is another other example about the two stroke that right now we are going to talk about two stroke. All right, this is four strokes. This is two stroke, but let me one second before I explain two stroke because there are two stroke gasoline engines and two stroke diesel engines, and uh, there are uh, a lot of difference between both of them. Okay, uh, let me check what happened in the combustion chamber of a diesel engines during the four strokes. Uh, what happened? What is the temperature? What is the pressure? The high compression hit the air, air in diesel engines, around 1,020 to 25, 75 maximum degrees Fahrenheit. Depending of the manufacture, depending of the compression, depending of the, the seal of the rings on the piston, uh, the air, if the air, if the combustion chamber is hermetic, uh, the temperature is higher. This is critical. My friends, in order, in order to ignite the diesel, it's necessary that uh, the temperature in the combustion chamber will uh, be at a specific temperature and the pressure. If not, the diesel not ignite and the, the fuel pass directly outside to the exhaust pipe. What is the minimum temperature? We are going to talk later. It's around 700 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the minimum, minimum, minimum temperature in order to ignite the fuel. And uh, also with the pressure. We are going to talk later about that point. But uh, in normal conditions, 
the temperature in the combustion chamber is around 1000 degrees Fahrenheit in normal conditions. Uh, in, this is uh, the moment where the fuel is injected directly into the, into the compressed air and uh, inside of the combustion chamber, all right? This is the situation in the combustion chamber and uh, normally the temperature should be around 1,025, 1,075. This is one of the ABYC questions in your exam. Two stroke engines. In this section, I am going to explain the main difference between two stroke gasoline engines and two stroke diesel engines. We are going to start with the explanation related with two stroke gasoline engines. And after that, I'm going to explain in, in, in diesel engines what is the situation and what is the difference between both engines. Yes, in marine applications, uh, there are uh, inboard engines, uh, diesel engines, two stroke engines. Uh, there are a couple of manufacturers. Uh, Detroit Diesel is one of those manufacturers that uh, fabricate uh, inboard engines with the uh, two stroke engines. Uh, those engines are special engines with uh, excellent efficiency. Uh, those engines produce higher torque in comparison with the, with the four stroke engines. And uh, there are some advantages of those engines and some disadvantages. Uh, in, in general terms, the people prefer every day use more and more the four stroke engines, um, basically because uh, it's uh, less noise, less noise, and uh, less uh, contamination. Mm, but uh, in in other in other scenarios, uh, especially especially in outboards, uh, the manufacturers uh, fabricate a lot of uh, two stroke engines. All right. Two-stroke engine is a combustion engine that uh, completes the cycle in two movements of the pistons in comparison with the four movement of the piston of uh, four strokes. You remember, in four strokes, during the intake, the piston goes down, one movement. During the compression, the piston goes up, second movement. Uh, during the power, the piston once again goes down, third movement. And uh, during the exhaust, piston once again goes up, fourth movement one, two, three, four movements to complete one cycle, to complete the cycle of uh, uh, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Oh, in those four movements, the crankshaft rotates two times. This is for four stroke engines. In two stroke engines, when the piston is going down, occur intake and exhaust at the same time. And when the piston is going up, occur power and, uh, power and compression, yeah? Two strokes in each movement. For that reason, the name of that process is a two stroke engine. All right, right now I am going to, to explain quickly uh, what is uh, the main difference between both type of engines. But uh, in order to, to understand uh, easily the two stroke gasoline and four strokes, let me explain something about that. Uh, if you remember, in a, in a four stroke uh, gasoline engine, uh, in a four-stroke gasoline engine, we have um, uh, the head, and in each side of the head, you have an exhaust manifold and intake manifold. This is the intake manifold. And uh, on the intake manifold, you have the throttle body or carburetor, and on top, you have the air filter. That's the air filter. This is for four-stroke uh, gasoline engines, or diesel is, is similar. All right, for two strokes, for two strokes, ah, and remember, in, in four strokes, you have the, the valves, the valves located on the head, the intake and the exhaust valves located on the head. And the cam shaft is connected with the crank shaft by means of the timing chain, the timing chain. Right? This is in four strokes. In two strokes. What happened in two strokes? In two strokes, there are mm, some difference. For example, in two strokes, <clears throat> the cylinder, the cylinder is not a is not a cylindrical element like this. Uh, the cylinder have a couple of holes, one in each side, two holes, one in front of the other one, like uh, the picture that you have on the screen right now. In the bottom of the cylinder, if you check in the picture. There are two holes, one practically in front of the other one. 
and additionally, the shape of the piston, the head of the piston in two stroke engines have this 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 shape, like a like a castle, like this. Ah. And what is the idea? In the bottom of the cylinder, there are the holes, one hole here and other hole in the other side for exhaust, because the exhaust manifold is located here in the other side for exhaust. Yeah, one one of the one of the difference if you if you check for visual inspection, the two stroke engines have uh, the input of uh, of the mixture and the output of the gases in the bottom of the block, not on top. In a four stroke engines, in a four stroke engines, the, the the intake and the exhaust manifolds are located on the head in in each side of the head, like the picture that you have on the screen right now. This is in four stroke. Uh, in two stroke, it's in the bottom, in the bottom of the block, because uh, uh, in a, in this particular case, uh, this is the intake manifold. This is the intake manifold, and in the intake manifold, you have a uh, here. Uh, the carburetor or throttle body and the carburetor mixes the fuel and mixes the oil and mixes the air. Ah, you have fuel, you have fuel plus oil plus air entering in the combustion chamber in the bottom. Yeah, for one side of the holes. In the other side, you have the exhaust. Uh, let me show to you. Ah, this is the situation. Exactly the situation. Uh, this is the block, and uh, this is the head. The head only have the hole for the spark plug. Yeah, and uh, and uh, on the on the cylinder you have one hole here for intake, and you have other hole here for exhaust. Ah, let me check what happened. And in the bottom, in the bottom, in the crankcase. When you talk uh, about the uh, two uh, cycle cylinders or uh, two stroke uh, uh, engines, uh, the name of the oil pan is the crankcase. The crankcase and the block, this is the bottom of the engine. Uh, in the bottom of the engine, in the crankcase, this is the crankcase, crankcase, in the bottom of the crankcase, is where uh, the oil pan is together with the block. Uh, there are one port with a valve, like a check valve. Uh, that port allow, uh, this is the, the carburetor with the air filter, uh, with the fuel tank, and uh, an other tank here for oil. All right, uh, this element, this carburetor, this carburetor mix it mix it, uh, the fuel, the oil, and the air. And in the crankcase, enter, enter all of those, all of those elements, fuel, air, and oil. And uh, when the, when in between, in between the cylinder wall and the piston, uh, the mixture goes up, the mixture goes up here, and enter in the combustion chamber when the piston reach the bottom and this hole is in front of the other hole. In other words, in that moment, when the piston is in the, in the bottom dead center, BDC, in the bottom, the mixture, the fresh mixture, enter here with high pressure and push the smoke out, and the smoke goes out. The name of that process is scavenging. What is the meaning of scavenging? Is the cleaning of the combustion chamber when the piston reach the bottom, the bottom the center, and uh, the fresh mixture enter for one port and push the smoke in the other port. Uh, this is the scavenging and occur in, in two stroke engines. We are going to study later in four strokes. We have a scavenging, it's a little different, but we are going to study later that phenomenon in diesel engines. Right now we are going, we are talking in this moment about the two stroke gasoline engines. All right, the, the, the mixture here, this is the fresh mixture. This is the fresh mixture. Enter and push the smoke, the gases out. The name of that process is scavenging. 
uh, this is when the piston is going down. Uh, what happens when the piston is going, uh, yeah, this is the process when the piston is going uh, down. When the piston, uh, uh, yeah, when the piston is going up, uh, the mixture is compressed, is compressed, is compressed, and at the same time, the spark plug produces the spark and ignites the mixture, the mixture air, fuel, and oil. And immediately the piston goes down at high speed and high force. And once again, when the piston reach this 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 portion, once again the mixture enter and push the smoke out. It's clear. When the piston is going down, when the piston is going down and reach the bottom bottom bottom, the mixture the fresh mixture enter and push the smoke out because both pores are one in front of the other one. And right now, when the piston try to reach up, close this port and close the other port and compress the mixture. And uh, use, 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 use before the piston reach the top of the center, the spark plug produces the explosion and the piston goes down immediately and the cycle continues. In other words, in a two-stroke gasoline engine, intake and exhaust occur in one direction and compression and power in the other direction. Two strokes two movements. Uh, this is the gasoline two strokes engine. Uh, what is the inconvenience? Uh, when the fresh mixture enter here, not all the smoke goes out and uh, you have pollution. For that reason, the motorcycles to cycles the smoke and the sound to more sound. Alright, how the sound can be reduced with the, with the exhaust pipe. Uh, depending on the design of the exhaust pipe, the sound is reduced, but the two-stroke engines produce a lot of noise. And uh, this is one of the inconvenience. And other of the inconvenience is uh, the smoke and uh, the gases uh, produced outside. All right, this is uh, two-stroke gasoline engines in the class of gasoline. I am going to repeat this explanation with more details. All right, and now we are going to talk about the two-stroke diesel engine. If you check in this picture, once again, in the bottom of the cylinder, in the bottom of the cylinder, two-stroke diesel, there are holes, like the cylinder that you have on the screen right now. Those holes are excellent for the, the intrusion of, the intrusion of, of air, pure air. And how the air enter in the bottom? In this particular case, it's not like uh, in the previous one, uh, gasoline to stroke that uh, only for atmospheric pressure enter. In this particular case, uh, there is located this element. This element is the supercharger or blower. The blower suction the air, this is the air filter, and uh, suction the air and enter the air with high pressure and high speed in the bottom of the cylinder. And right now the, the air enter, enter here and in the moment that the air is entering, because the piston reached the bottom depth center, the, reach, the piston reached the bottom, 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 uh, at, in the moment that the piston reached the bottom, immediately the exhaust valve opened. Ah, yes, the diesel engines, two strokes, they only have exhaust valves. They only have exhaust valves, no intake valves, right? That's very important. Uh, in the previous gasoline, they don't have any valves, no exhaust, no intake. Oh yeah, of course, the two-stroke gasoline engines, they don't have uh, a, a camshaft and they don't have timing gear. No, they only have the crankshaft to move the pistons and one spark plug on top, two-stroke gasoline. Right now, in, in this one, in the two-stroke diesel, on the head, we have exhaust valves to release the smoke. And we have injector. We don't have a spark plug. Injector because it's diesel. All right. And what is the what is the idea? When the piston reach the bottom, the bottom depth center. This is the bottom depth center, BDC. When the piston reach the bottom, immediately through this port, enter fresh air, and the fresh air push the smoke out, and the smoke goes out here to the exhaust. This is the, the exhaust manifold. This is the exhaust manifold. Manifold. All right, and 
Uh, this is the crankshaft. This is the crankshaft. And the crankshaft, the gear of the crankshaft engage with the gear of the camshaft. This is the timing, the timing position. And the camshaft, those are the loads of the camshafts, move the push rods. And the push rods activate the rocker arm. The rocker arm. And the rocker arm open on or close the valves. Uh, and uh, this is the this is the typical diesel engine to stroke engines. Yes, in a, in the diesel engine you have oil in the in the in the oil pan in the crankcase you have oil and you have this stick in order to check the level of the oil. In the gasoline two stroke engines you don't have this stick. Why? Because you don't have in the oil pan oil accumulated. Remember, the carburetor in two-stroke gasoline engines mixes the oil with the air and the fuel, and that mixture enters in the crankcase, and when the piston goes up, suction that mixture and enter in the, in the intake port. That's, that's gasoline. In diesel, in diesel, the diesel engine have in the bottom oil dedicated, and you have dipstick to check the level of the oil. And, uh, and you have valves in a two-stroke diesel engine? Yes, you have only, only exhaust valves. Only exhaust valves. Only exhaust valves. And, uh, and uh, you have, uh, of course, you have the gear for the camshaft. You have camshaft and you have crankshaft. All right? And I am going to repeat the procedure. When the piston is going down, two-stroke diesel engine, when the piston reaches the bottom, the bottom depth center, when the piston reaches the bottom of the center, this hole, this port is open. And the air coming from the turbocharger or supercharger, the fresh air, enter directly through the holes and fill, and fill the cylinder. When the fresh air enter and fill the cylinder, the smoke is, is going out because the, the exhaust valve is open. Immediately the piston reaches the bottom, the exhaust valve open. And the gases goes here and goes out and bye bye to the exhaust pipe. All right. And after that, the piston starts to go up when the piston is pretty close to the top dead center. On, on top, the air is full compressed, only air. And immediately the injector opens and spray the fuel, and the fuel ignites the air, and the explosion is produced. And once again, the piston is going. Down. All right, it's very simple. The two stroke diesel engine only have exhaust valves, only have injectors on the head, and uh, uh, the, uh, the input of a fresh air is in the bottom, in one side of the block, where the blower or supercharger is located. The air enter in the bottom. When the piston reach the bottom the center, those holes are open and the air enter over there. Immediately, the fresh air enter in the cylinder, push the smoke out, and uh, the gases goes out, and uh, the cycle continue and continue and continue. What is the advantage of those diesel engines, uh, diesels, uh, two-stroke diesel engines? The advantage is that those engines, two-stroke, produce higher torque than the four-stroke engines. Higher, higher torque. Uh, those engines, uh, two-stroke diesel engines, are very, very, very common in mega yachts, in, a, in cargo boats, in cargo ships, because uh, those ex engines produce excessive amount of torque and, uh, and uh, they work at lower RPMs than the four stroke engines. For that reason, are the preferred engines for cargo ships, uh, for uh, uh, containers, and uh, mega, mega yachts. Uh, this is the basic difference between two stroke diesel engines and gasoline 